Well, just before I started playing football with a dog, he's better than me. He can do more kick-ups anyway. Uh, I nipped across to I nipped across to Discount Fascia and Suffit up in Hawcroft, and I picked up some some two-inch masking tape, which is going to make life a little bit easier for backing off the welds, particularly when I'm putting together little bits and bobs on the bench behind me. So I can just cap one end off and fill it with argon. That's the plan anyway, so that's what we're going to do this morning. Get a few more bits and pieces welded together, a few more fittings. I'm waiting on the delivery from GC Supplies. Ordered and paid for yesterday. Will be here today, I'm 90% sure. And uh, we'll get basically the outlet on this mash tun. And what I'm going to do is use a copper manifold to start off with because, as I said the other day, I will probably build another mash tun in six months or a year's time. So an old school copper manifold will be cheap, it will be easy to manufacture and it will see us through a pinch. I don't want to be buying expensive perforated stainless steel sheet to put in the bottom and then we scrap the mash tun. Uh, waste of money. So this here is the piece, not this section, this wedge section here is the piece that's going to be welded onto the base of the mash tun tank. So in order to do that I need to purge I need to purge the inside so we'll mask it off. I've got the welder at the side of me. I've already tacked it as you can see to the male fitting which is going to be the outlet at the bottom of the tank. So let's go ahead and get this welded up. We've got the flow meter on, we've got backing gas coming in, stab a little vent hole with the uh, little filler wire there. Okay, we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. We've got 75 amps on the foot pedal. Fill a wire just in case I need it. I don't think I will. Argon back purge on. Let's check. Yeah, I can feel it blowing out the back there if I lick the back of my finger. Tick torch. Comfortable position. Probably there. Yep. Take a break, GC supplies have arrived. Right, big shout to Andy and Alexa at GC supplies. I can't believe how quickly they get this stuff out, you know, and they've even cut steel for me as well. 
top, top firm. Let's get in here. I am very curious as to what we've got. Oh my goodness. Right, so these are the half sockets to allow me to screw in the elements. That's crazy. They don't look big enough somehow, but uh, well, I guess they are. And then we've got some quick release fittings. These are little extras. That one looks like a non-return valve of some type. Yeah, it looks like a no-return valve. But these are all little bits and bobs that uh, he's kindly thrown into the bag. Now that, my friend. Oh yes. Stainless ball valves. Oh, brilliant. I've actually been looking for some of these as well. Well, there we go, guys. If you're building your own brew kits, stainless ball valves, half inch, full bore as well. That's beautiful. And I imagine they do bigger ones. Oh, cheers, man. Cheers, man. The clamps, the clamp ferrules, everything else that's required. So, oh, I'm over the moon. So let's go and open up uh, some of the other packages. Right, this should be the legs. Hey, oh. It's like Christmas, isn't it? So these are going to be the legs for the mash tun. I think the 350. These are the legs for the fermentores. We should have, uh, I think we've got six of them. So there might be two wrapped up in that package as well, or three. And in here, we should have, and we will have. Yes. So we've got the one and a half inch hygienic pipe, two inch hygienic pipe, and then the other legs there. So we're all unpacked now. For some reason, I'm out of breath doing that. So we've got the four legs for the mash tun. We've got the six legs for the other tanks, for the fermenting tanks. We've got the two inch pipe and the inch and a half pipe, obviously for, for outlets on these bad boys. And then looking across on this stuff, I've realized what these are. That's a non-return valve. These are all quick release fittings, look. You can see the seal inside, the red seal. So they're like quick release fittings that will possibly go on the brew kettle. Let's just do that. There we go, look. We've also got all of these different types of stainless steel ball valve, lever valve. Thanks, man. Well, I continued the fabrication and I put together another two more of these dip tubes for the fermenters. So we've got one for each fermenter now. Don't they look freaking awesome? So also, this afternoon we're gonna have to nip across to see a mate of mine, Spider-Man. Uh, he's the chap who gave us this table. This Swedish woodworking bench. And uh, he had a bit of misfortune last week. Some little bastards went to his allotment where we picked this up from and they burnt it down. They burnt all of his sheds down on the allotment which he's spent decades, I think, good 10 years or more building up and it's been there for probably a good 50 or 60 years, these sheds. So everyone's come out to give him an hand and uh, He's managed to get his hands on a new shed and some new tools and uh, I'm going to go down there this afternoon and help him chuck the shed on the allotment. But before I shoot off to help Spider out tonight, this afternoon even, I've got these uh, two and a quarter inch BSP stainless steel sockets and they are to go on to these tri-clamp ferrules. So basically, that We'll have one of these on the tank, like that, and then this will clamp on as a tri clamp does with a clamp around there. And then the element, the heating element, screws into here. 
So in order for me to get the heating element out, instead of having to unscrew it, I simply undo the tri-clamp, take the element out, in and out, shake it all about, and then I can clean it on a bench without having to sort of get, you know, get in the tank and uh, clean it inside. Cool, eh? So the idea is, pop this on there, weld that on there without causing any coking and uh, make it as hygienic as possible. Never done one of these before, so the BSP socket is about five, maybe six mil thick steel, whereas the clamp ferrules are only a couple of mil. So I've got to make sure I don't burn through. Hmm. Too long at all. So we've got we've got no coking on the inside and we've got a steady little weld all the way around the outside. She's quite hot as it happens, but uh pretty pleased with that folks. Pretty pleased with that that's for our yes. Right, it's about time to go and pick up the shield there on. And after that, I will be helping move a shed. Provided I get the phone call. It's not raining, so it should still be on. On all of it. Yep. Oh. Look at that. I've got two left hands. <laughs> yeah, just add some epic music in the background of this. Okay. Two left hands, Dom. Hey, up. Perfect. I'm following you. You come out at the way then, Dom, because when we get moving, we're not going to stop. Yes. You come behind us. Oh. You come behind us, out. the camera. You get this one first, and then hopefully Poots will be here and just... Oh, it's a little well, shed, isn't it? Oh, underneath. Yeah, I'm on. Are you all right with that? I'm right at the minute. Yeah. Well, let's go, guys. Right, let's get this one going. Yes, this is Dominic's footage. Got it, don't worry. You stay that side, kids. Well, yeah. I'll I'll oh. That was a long one. Is that it? Stop. Yeah. This is where his old one was burnt down, look. Greenhouse and shed. Best stuff. Some naughty kids come along and set it on fire. Did they? Yeah. All those tools burnt. Did you get any money back? Burnt everything. Are you filming, Dom? Just forgot. <laughs> I'm filming. 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 I'm See, we're filmmaking, I'm not a professional, but when I'm recording with Dad's camera, like, every single part of footage, what you want to do is, like, every few minutes or so, you want to stop recording and record again. <laughs> Don't get too close, kids, in case you drop it. I'm if you drop it, is if you I've drop... i to the conclusion that... I don't know if Mr. Tooth likes to know exactly where we are. You can do this. You can make this. You can do this, boy. We just got an extra pair of hands. I can't see where I'm going, so don't leave me over any fucking. <laughs> that was all. Hello. Hello. Three more the kids. Oh, was about there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, posters. 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 Yeah
Right, I'll bring up the rear wick kids then. Let's go. You alright? Done. You got a record of the day? Mm. He's vlogging. Yeah, I'm vlogging. <laughs> Thumbs up, guys. Well, there we are, folks. We're back in the brewery now. So, uh, Spider's got his new shed sorted out. There are little bastards out there, aren't they? Setting fire to that. It's just not on. So, I'm going to do a little bit more welding, then go home. Probably nothing to see here, folks. So, we'll see you on the vlog tomorrow. Cheers. Cheers.